I uh, have something in my teeth. Unique New York. <laughs> Unique New York. Gerbil. Gerbil ball. Gerbil running through a fire. The excitement in this studio could not be more palpable, Ollie. We've got a ton of the best mini bike drag racers on either side of the Mississippi coming down here to the Metroplex. They'll be competing to see who has what it takes to take home the gold in three classes of high octane excitement. For more on those classes and their engine requirements, we've got Dr. Merlin coming to us live from a bunker in Parts Unknown. Hey race team, it's Jason with Go Power Sports and I'm here to give you the inside track on the classes and engine sizes for the 2024 GPS 660 mini bike drag race. There are three classes for the GPS 660, each with its own requirements. First up, we've got the Pull Start Small Block Class. This will be our entry level class, but by no means will these small blocks be slow. The entry rules for this class include, must be a 6.5 cast block engine, which means that it started as a 196, 200, 206, 212, or 225 engine. It be a Tillotson, Honda, Tecumseh, Briggs, or just a Honda clone engine. 236 cc is the max cast block and cast cylinder head. Must be started with a recoil starter. No starter boxes are allowed. Must be driven by a centrifugal clutch, either disc or shoe, 20 or 30 series torque converter kit, or a juggernaut. Pump gas and methanol fuels are allowed, but no fuel additives in this class. Buy-in is 50 bucks. Next is a small block open class. We expect this to be the most competitive class at this year's GPS 660. This must start out as a 6.5 cast block engine, which means it started as a 196, 200, 206, 212, or a 225cc engine. It can be a Tillotson, Honda, Tecumseh, Briggs, or a Honda clone engine. 290 cc is the max in this class. It could be a cast block and billet cylinder head is allowed. Must be driven by a centrifugal clutch, either disc or shoe, 20 or 30 series torque converter, or the juggernaut. Pump gas, methanol, and fuel additives are allowed in this class. Buy-in for the small block open class is 100 bucks. The lastest, fastest, and feistiest class, the Outlaw. It could be a billet animal, billet flathead, big block, dual engines, run what you brought. Single cylinder engine only, cast and billet block allowed. Must be driven by a centrifugal clutch, disc or shoe, or any torque converter. Pump gas, methanol, and fuel additives are allowed for the outlaws out here. Buying for the outlaw class is also a hundred bucks. One thing they all have in common, because of time constraints, there will be no buybacks. If you get knocked out, that's it. So make sure you take some time to really get to know your bike inside and out, and familiar side, and familiar side, and familiar side, and familiarize yourself with the rules of the drag strip. See you all at the races on Sunday, May 9th, 2024. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Excellent coverage. Hot dog. If there's anyone who could explain rules better than Dr. Merlin, I haven't met them. You're not lying, Jason. I'd listen to that man read the phone book on z -Quil. Sounds like an ideal Saturday to me, Ollie. Speaking of Saturday plans, on Saturday, May 18th, we'll be throwing the second annual Pull Start Picnic. That's our mini bike best in show contest. May 18th? That's the day before the GPS 660. You're a sharp one, Jason. I can always count on you to point out the obvious. If you're planning on coming out to the GPS 660, why not make a whole weekend out of it and come on out for the Pull Start Picnic too. We'll even have a drag bike class at Pull Start Picnic. So you can bring out your favorite drag bike to show off on Saturday and then burn some rubber at the GPS 660 the following day. Speaking of burning rubber, we've got our GPS resident drag racer Flacco Hall down at Yellow Belly to help us run through some of the basics of the drag race. All right, rolling, okay. Uh... Full take, take one. What's up, race team? It's Flacco with Go Power Sports, and I'm here to talk about the GPS 660 on Sunday, May 19th, 2024, at Yellow Belly Drag Strip. Before you come out, there's a few things that you really should know. First off, all bikes must be a mini bike chassis. No gearboxes in any classes. 
Yellow Belly is in fact the eighth mile track, 660 feet, hence the name GPS 660. This will be heads up racing, meaning you lie side by side with your opponent, first person to the finish line win. But due to time restraints, there will not be any buyback opportunities. <laughs> We will be using the Pro Tree at the GPS 660. Your first lights are the pre-stage and the stage lights. This means you're on the line and your front wheel has interrupted the IR beam. Your IR beam will trigger the timing equipment when you leave the line. Next, the amber light. These lights will flash simultaneously a split second before the green light comes on. Green, well that obviously means go. Green there's only four tenths of a second difference between amber and green, so you really want to leave before you physically see the green light. If you wait until you see the green light comes on, you'll be left behind. Go too soon, and you'll get the dreaded red light. This means you jump the gun. If you red light, unfortunately, y'all, you lost the race. You got to sit it aside. You will be disqualified, and you most likely will get a swirly on the way back to your car. For all the cheap seats back there, do not red light because you will not have an opportunity to buy back in. Let's be clear. And also, if you're interested in running some laps before the main event, you can always come out the Yellow Belly on Thursday, May 16th, 2024, with your boy, get a little testing in. It'll be a good opportunity to get to know the track, get some practice in, and scope out the competition. I hope that helps all y'all get up to speed. Looking forward to seeing everybody at the track on Sunday, May 19th, 2024. Y'all be there at B Square, man. Hooey, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Thank you guys. I think I'm ready to hit the track. Before anyone gets ahead of themselves, we've got one more aspect of the race that we need to cover. What to wear? Not quite. What not to wear? I'll save us all some time and just send it over to the head of R&D and our resident tech inspector, Taylor the Toolman Yoakum. Uh, it's not his name. <laughs> My hat is off to those competing in the GPS 660. We're excited to see the skills and bikes you're bringing out to Yellow Belly. But before you hit the track, you'll need to stop in for tech inspection. Here are the things you will need in order to race a Yellow Belly. You will need functioning brakes. All vents must terminate at a catch can. We can't be dumping oil all over the track. You must have a functioning kill switch or tether line, which is a dead man switch. Everything must be securely fastened. There can't be anything flopping around, nothing loose on the bike. A clutch guard is required for the riding gear. You have to have a full face helmet that is at least DOT approved. You have to have a jacket. We prefer a leather jacket, but hoodies are acceptable. You have to have full length pants, gloves, and boots or shoes covering the ankle bone. Additionally, if you're among the top three in the full start small block or small block open class, right after the race, you're gonna come straight to the tech booth. We are going to remove the cylinder head off of your engine, and then we're gonna check for bore and stroke. With these, we can calculate the CC and make sure you're within the requirements. So get your gear ready, make sure your bikes are good to go, and I'll see you at the races. And there you have it, folks. Now you've got all the info you'll need to participate in the GPS 660. And guess what? Even if you're not racing, it'll be an awesome event to come out to and watch. We're excited to see you that weekend for both the Pull Start Picnic and the GPS 660 for our Texas Two-Step Weekend. See you at the races.